I had a title that had words like director, vice president in it, I would get the Audi S5. This car is really beautiful, has brilliant handling, and just excellent cabin electronics. The Audi S5 is the sport version of Audi's A5 Coupe. As a coupe, it's only got two doors, but it does have four seats, although the rear seats are pretty small, pretty cramped. I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time back there. This is a premium level car, fairly expensive, of course. For cabin tech, we have an older generation of Audi's MMI, multimedia interface. That's this dial with some buttons on the console here, which controls content on the screen. In newer generation Audis, we have a touchpad, which is a little easier to use for entering alphanumeric information. When I go to navigation here, I get this really cool thing Audi's been doing for a little while, integrating Google Earth with the navigation system. So what I'm looking at is satellite imagery of my immediate surroundings. That's brought in through a 3G data connection. Uh, in newer Audis, you actually get 4G. We also have Google Search integrated with the navigation system and a few data services which are pretty cool like fuel prices and weather. Now for audio, we have an onboard hard drive, HD radio, satellite radio, Bluetooth streaming, and also these SD card slots in the dashboard here. And in the glove compartment, we have the Audi Music Interface, which is a proprietary port with these various adapter cables for iPhones and USB drives. It's not very convenient, and I just wish Audi would use a standard USB port for all devices that you plug into the car. For the audio system, we have 10 speakers, 180 watt amplifier, that's standard, but for $850 we can upgrade to a Bang & Olufsen system with 14 speakers, 505 watts of amplification. That's a great deal and I would definitely recommend it. First I want to talk about a couple of unique features in this car. One, it's got all-wheel drive. That's Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. Now this particular car also has the optional sport differential. That actually shifts torque across the rear wheels. It is just so much fun. It does such a good job. What it does is it overdrives the outside rear wheel in a turn, and that leads to what engineers call a yaw moment, pushing the back end around and just giving you just this excellent turning character. The other unique thing about this car is the engine has a supercharger. This is an Eaton supercharger. That's how we get 333 horsepower out of this three liter V6 engine. Now that engine power is going to all four wheels through a six speed manual transmission. I wouldn't scoff at anybody for getting that dual clutch transmission because it works really well. It's Audi's S-Tronic transmission. Now Audi doesn't have a sport mode per se. What they have is called dynamic mode. What I don't have in this car is the adaptive suspension. So right now I just have sort of the compromise fixed suspension. It's pretty good. It's comfortable enough for everyday driving. Uh, but it really seems to keep the car nice and flat in the turn. So I'm really, really enjoying how this suspension feels. It's something you could actually reasonably bring to track days. You wouldn't be the fastest car on the track, but you'd do all right. Base price for the 2015 Audi S5 is $52,500. Now there's two options you're definitely gonna want is the Sport Differential for $1,100 and the Adaptive Suspension for $1,000. Throw in the tech package for $2,900, that gets you that navigation system. $850 gets you the Bang & Olufsen audio system. That's a total of $58,350.